At 8.17 a.m., every clock on Earth froze, and only one woman noticed that time itself was breathing. Dr. Mira Hale, 27, stood in the underground time measurement lab beneath Geneva's old observatory. She had sharp brown eyes shadowed by sleepless nights, short black hair tied in a messy knot, and a thin silver scar cutting through her left eyebrow. Her gray oversized hoodie and worn sneakers made her look more like a college student than a scientist. But her restless mind studied one impossible question. What if time wasn't constant, but alive? Her mentor, Dr. Elias Rowe, 54, tall and narrow with silver-streaked hair and cold blue eyes behind rectangular glasses, stared at the frozen monitors. All atomic clocks stopped at exactly 8.17, he said. Yet the world keeps moving. Traffic cameras showed normal city life, yet satellites and quantum timers were stuck. Time isn't flowing evenly, Mira whispered. The floor vibrated beneath them, and suddenly she felt pressure behind her eyes. Tick, stretch, breathe. The words echoed inside her mind. I can hear it, she gasped. Hear what? Elias asked. Time struggling, reading spiked. Some cities showed looping movements. Ocean waves hovered mid-crash, clouds froze in place. Time was tearing. Elias confessed, it's the Chrono Resonance Core, the experiment built to stabilize black hole distortions. Someone activated it. It's not breaking time, Mira realized. It's trapping it, choking the flow. If the core shut down suddenly, years of time would collapse in one violent burst. We can't turn it off, she said. We have to teach time to breathe again. Ignoring Elias's protests, Mira pressed the neural connector to her temple. Instantly, her mind touched something immense threaded timelines forming the fabric of reality. She followed the whispers. Tick, stretch, release. Breathing slowly, she synchronized her heartbeat with the universe. Around the world, motion unlocked. Tokyo's loops ended. Clouds drifted forward. Waves fell back into the sea. The clocks twitched, 818. Mira collapsed as the pressure faded. Elias caught her. You restarted time. She shook her head weakly. No, I just reminded it how. The world later blamed the event on a technical failure, but some nights, staring at the stars, Mira still hears that quiet rhythm. Tick, stretch, breathe. And she whispers back, keep going, we need you.